Sussex is desperate to save their last chance with public, but they all offer devastating judgment. Prince Harry, 36, and Meghan Markle, 40, signed multi-million dollar contracts with Netflix and Spotify to create content for the platforms after leaving the royal family in March 2020. Royal commentator Omid Scobie has claimed after months of leave for the royal couple, they are getting ready for a busy period. He said royal fans will see why their move to the US was so important to them. Mr Scobie said, one of the lessons learned by the couple was it's okay to slow down. We saw them jump from one big project to the next especially when they moved over to the US but they're on parental leave at the moment, enjoying that important family time from home. But we are about to enter a very busy period for the couple when they do return to work. We will see those first projects from Spotify, the Netflix project coming out and of course their own work from their charitable organization Artual. That's something they really want to be on the ground for. We know they're at their best when they're interacting with people on those special engagements. He added, this is finally going to be a chance to see them showing us what they're doing in the US and why that move was so important for them. It comes as Harry flew to Aspen, Colorado to compete in a Sante Bale polo match on Thursday after donating $1.5 million, £1.1 million, from the proceeds of his upcoming memoirs to the charity he co-founded. The royal family is braced for the publication of Harry's memoirs next year which he has written not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. However, Pohl delivers damning verdict. They want Harry and Meghan to stop commenting publicly on global issues. Additionally, on both sides of the Atlantic, most feel the Queen should respond to claims that she did not do enough to address Harry and Meghan's racism allegations. The survey found almost three-quarters of those polled in both countries want the Duke of Sussex to negotiate with his brother and father. Asked the question, should Princes Harry, William and Charles meet face to face to try to resolve their issues? 72.9% in Britain said yes, with an even more substantial 77.6% agreeing in America. People in both Harry and Meghan's home countries appear to be tiring of their pronouncements on world affairs, after the couple said last week they are speechless and feel many layers of pain over what is happening in Afghanistan. Harry and Meghan, who were slammed by critics for spouting a woke word salad in a rambling statement on their Archul website, added that they are heartbroken by the humanitarian crisis in earthquake-ravaged Haiti and are still scared about the dangers of Covid. Responding to the question, do you think the Duke and Duchess of Sussex should stay out of publicly commenting on world affairs? 53.8% in the UK and 52.3% in the US agreed. Royal author Margaret Holder says she believes Harry and Meghan's seemingly insatiable appetite for world headlines could ultimately backfire on them and even damage them financially. Recently, British TV presenter Mercy Murick issued a scathing rebuke about how unavoidable Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have become. Murick is a member of the GB News team in Britain and offered a harsh on-air take about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex last week in which she derided the couple and explained that she simply cannot summon dams to give about their continued public presence. She declares. Perpetuating their victim status may deliver global publicity welcomed by the media giants who have commercial contracts with the Sussexes. However, eventually people will tire of hearing the same old cracked record and the couple will have to reinvent themselves if they are to stay bankable in a rapidly changing market with many competitors.